Hola, bienvenido y uh, el gringo y marón señor extravaganza. We usually do the snap thing. Fine. Uh, Hola. Uh, you know, just stay there and, uh, whew, yeah, whatever that was. But yeah, um, today, today is a great day because I just freaking, okay, look, I understand that some of you people out there hate my fan theories. You guys watch my videos, you're like, you're fucking stupid, you're an idiot, blah, blah. But no, this one you cannot, I mean, cannot argue against. And I thought of this one just like a couple days ago and I put all the pieces together and obviously everyone's already been talking about like certain situations, like or certain things about this theory, but no one's ever put them together. So bottom line, just wanted to get it out there. And uh, uh, Tim's back from uh, Santa Cruz, so oh, just, just had to freaking do it. But yeah. See, we can talk English, sir. Regardless, no. today we're going to be discussing the theory of Walter Bronco. Blanco. Blanco. Is Walter White Kirby? Kirby. Hold on, before you click away, I understand how ridiculous. I understand. I understand how ridiculous Don't this comment yet. Don't. Just give us a second. Just one. The facts add up. Just hold on and just. Hear me out. Kirk's First universe and ours, it, it's the same universe. We exist in the same universe. And we were thinking, what the hell, that's bullshit. No, it's not, because in Kirby 64, level five, Shiver Star, look at that picture and tell me that's not Earth. It looks like North and South America. And not to mention, when you go into the level, it's covered in ice. And well, either nuclear fallout or an ice age just pretty much destroyed the planet. Regardless of that though, um, Kirby and Walter White, what the hell are you talking about? Throughout Breaking Bad, there's something that's always been a little weird about the show, but whenever whenever Walter White kills, or in Kirby sense, devours someone, he takes a trait from them. And you may be thinking, oh, that's just like, you know, little Easter eggs. You don't kill someone and take their traits. For example, the first person he kills, Crazy Eight, um, Crazy Eight loves his sandwiches with the crust cut off. And for no reason at all, after the or like after he kills him, Walter White starts to cut the crust off his own sandwiches. And now let's get on to uh, Tuco. Tuco is impulsive and crazy and rage induced. And after he kills him, there's a lot of moments where, you know, he seems like very, you know, angsty. He seems very just rage induced the same way Tuco was. Also, there's like an image of, you know, them superimposing the teeth over it. That one's not really a trait, but that's just like a good little indication. Like, hey, look at, he's taking his trait. similar. Gus Fring. Um, this one's actually one of the more bigger ones, kind of more like actual proof due to the fact that when Gus, okay, Early on in the show, we see Gus Fring, and then, you know, he throws up in his toilet. But beforehand, he grabs a towel, rolls it up, and puts it under his knees, you know, so he doesn't hurt his knees. Nobody saw that. Yet, after the fact that he dies at the hands of, uh, you know, Hector Salonaga, it's all... The person who pretty much pulled the trigger in this case was Walter White. And afterwards, when Walter White throws up in his own toilet, he rolls up a towel and puts it under his knees. Think about, too, earlier in the show, when Walter's going through cancer and chemo, just runs up to the toilet and vomits no towel. We know what you're thinking. It sounds crazy, right? And I understand. And also, you may be thinking, hey, didn't you just say this is set in the future? Mm. I mean, wouldn't Walter White be dead? Mm. Well, I actually have a counter to this. And look, I've been doing a lot of research on drugs and shit. By the way, up drug. meth is fucked, fucked up. up drug. Just don't even do it. But th apparently, there have been studies done, all this shit. Again, you know, how can you really trust studies? But there's apparently a 50% chance that if you inject yourself with... By the way, don't do this. Again, we do not condone meth use on this channel. Just, just, just don't That's do on it. you. Don't do it. But, yeah, there's a 50% chance that if you inject yourself about 600 cc's of pure liquefied pure meth... Pure liquefied crystal meth. And prior, you have to cook it to exactly 50 kelvins. Mm. I mean, that's a usual measurement. Just look it up. Mm. But um, if you cook it to that much and you inject it, um, apparently... It acts like a, a really fast acting drug, and apparently, if it's like diabetes, like your limbs will start to fall off. Like oh, yeah. circulation will just not go to those limbs. Mm -hmm. So your your arms and your legs will actually fall off. And not not to mention, if the worst case scenario, your torso will actually detach from your head, and it's it sounds terrifying. You'll still and they'll be living, however. I mean, guys, I mean, look at it. Freaking, they're both both their heads are already circular. I mean, both of them are bald, mm. and not to mention. Part of like the studies I was talking about, like the meth thing and all that shit. But apparently, um, when you your head your head attaches from the rest of your body, mm -hmm. you still have the same amount of blood blood supply. So technically, you have the same amount of blood as if you had a whole body, but only with your head. Oh, yeah. So technically, you're dealing with just freaking high blood pressure and hypertension, mm -hmm. hence turning your skin kind of reddish, or in this case, pink. pink. But it's also yeah, evolution thing. Um, 
over time, because he's he's been alive for fucking like centuries and shit. Mm -hmm. So over time, he starts to develop things. Like his ears become his his new hands, and uh, his new like like blobby texture. It's because like as you were saying earlier when we were discussing this, that when you're in space, uh, your bones become like it, it starts to make. So pretty much all of his bones became cartilage because of the lack of gravity. Mm -hmm. Like there was no actual need of him, you know, being to, you know, have a strong structure. Over time, it gets you know dystrophy and all that shit. But it works because you know, like it's in space, like low gravity. So, all this shit added up, all this weird things, I mean, not to mention, again, as we said it before, he freaking kills people and he takes their attributes. Mm. One of the main, one of the main attributes of fucking Kirby. So, when you really look at it, it's not that insane. I mean, there's obviously proof that both universes are in the same universe. We do have the science behind it as well. The, yeah, the science is there. It's fucking really, really nutty, but it makes so much sense. Obviously, this sounds insane, but really look at the facts. I mean, this is... Borderline. They add up, people. It, this is this is nutty. I mean, Walter White makes the best meth on the planet. It preserved him for thousands of years. So yeah, essentially what I'm trying to say is Walter White becomes a crime-fighting superhero in space. Well, that's the video. Yep. And uh, honestly, thank you guys for watching. This is just, I, I freaking love doing these theories and like mm. they're honestly a blast to, uh, to do. Not to mention, um, if you guys are interested, we actually have a part two to this. Uh, so let, you know, let us know in the comments below if you want to watch it. Uh, it's pretty much us saying that Gus Fring is actually made a knight. Mm. And we'll get into that later. Don't worry about that now. But uh, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe. And we'll see you guys later.